As I've stated in the cave review, we have two Syrian Civil War documentaries that were nominated for this past year's Oscars, and this one is from PBS. Well, in the United States, and the Republic Film Distribution in the UK, since one of the directors of the film is British. Anyways, here in the US, this ended up being part of the PBS Frontline series after its theatrical run. And unlike the other nominees here, this one is told through like a video diary to a child. As for this film, it ended up winning big at the British Independent Spirit Awards, as it not also won for Best Documentary, but also for Best Editing, Best Director, and Best British Independent Film. So basically, a documentary film has a Best Picture title to its name. Well that's awesome, something the Oscars have not done yet. And it ended up with four BAFTA nominations, winning of course for Best Documentary. Now let's explore this war zone again, but with our triumphant of love with Forsama. Directed by Wald Al Kupti and Edward Watts, this is a story of Watts' life in five years as a university student in the city of Aleppo, and she began documenting the events that was going through her by the time the Syrian Civil War would begin in the Battle of Aleppo. Then she would meet the love of his life, Hamza. They got married, and they got their first child, named Sama. While they reside there, Hamza is also a doctor and founded a children's hospital going under siege, all told through the narration from Wad as the big love letter to her first daughter. So this has been considered by many people the best Syrian Civil War documentary of the year, and you can tell both this and The Cave have very similarities. As it being about a children's hospital, it is set in Syria, but the difference is, is the timestamps. As for this film, it sets during the beginning of the decade up to their flee in the end of 2016. Now I never thought that a movie would actually be like this love letter video diary to Watt's first child, which that's very creative, which I've never seen that in a documentary before like this. Then you actually got Watt herself as being the only person in the film to do a majority of the shots all by herself in all those years she did. I can tell it was pretty hard once the war began. And yes, that means you will have some disturbing imagery of dead bodies here, people. Another thing she has is the relationship with her husband. Sure, he can be very busy when it comes to saving children, but he's also risking his life to save these children as well. Now, I really can't take points off here much, because Forsama was released six months before The Cave, mostly because of their similarities. Probably the biggest issue I have with it, I feel like this is more of for what herself, rather than her daughter. Sure, she's telling her story to her, but we don't focus much on Sama herself. Also, there are moments that happened before the war, where it was all the civilians versus the leaders of Aleppo at the time she was a student, which I get for the build-up to the battle, but there wasn't much info about it. As for the other people that Wan interacts with, the other workers at the hospital, and yes, I know some are still alive and those who are sadly not, it's just that she really didn't have the time to talk much with them. Sure, for some, it definitely has an idea of how it wants to be a video diary love story to Wad's daughter. I just feel mixed with it being a movie. To give her credit, she had a lot of footages she did all by herself, but I feel like we didn't have much info about the hospital and Sama herself. Like The Cave, as a Syrian Civil War documentary, this is not for everyone on the graphic violence and the amount of dead bodies. As for those people who are in the medical career, my recommendation to that film, I say skip this one. Granted, it's not a fantastic film, it just made me not have an emotional moment here. Well, we finally leave Syria and head up northwest to here in the United States, as next Wednesday we'll be going to our winning documentary feature as a big glass factory is trying to be a union with the citizen workers of the United States and China.